we're going to get set up with the HubSpot integration here by going to the integrations tab on your OneSignal dashboard. We're going to click authenticate and we should be given access to the HubSpot account. Choose the account and then agree to the terms and you should then see in your integrations page that the app is connected to the account. We're then going to go to our subscriptions page here and we're going to find a push subscription that is subscribed but doesn't have an external ID for this test. We see here that we have a iPhone that does not have an external ID so we're going to assign one and call this new HubSpot integration. This is going to be the ID that we use to connect the user on one signal to the contact on HubSpot. So on HubSpot, we can go here and we can create a contact and we'll call this new email at onesignal.com test user and then we'll give this a phone number. We're going to create this. And now under test users, we can view all properties and we're going to create a new property to match the external ID. Let's call this match external ID, but this can be named anything you'd like or it can be an existing property. Under field type, I'm just going to set this to be single line text. And now we can go back into our contacts under test user and under the properties for that test user, we can do new HubSpot integration under the field match external ID. Now we're ready to click save and go to automations, workflows and set up a new workflow. We're going to create a contact based blank workflow and when we click the plus button, as long as everything has been set up correctly, we'll see this one signal integrated app option at the bottom. The first thing that we want to do is we want to create a one signal user. We should have the option to connect to the app that's already set up with the integration. And under external ID, we want to match the match external ID option that we selected before. We can also add data tags, but we're going to save this for a later step. We want to enable SMS subscription and then we can click save. If you remember, on OneSignal, we only had a push subscription here. This will create an email and an SMS record on the user in OneSignal. We can then go to OneSignal here and create a notification. Again, we can select the app that's connected. We want to match by external ID and we want to match with the same property that we matched with before, match external ID. We can either create the message here, or we can use an existing template from OneSignal, like new feature announcement. We're gonna click save, and then we'll edit or add a OneSignal data tag. We're gonna select the app and the external ID, just like we did before. And then under tags, the way you format them are with curly braces and using quotes around the key separated by a colon, and then value. If you wanted to add multiple, you can add a comma, and then you can do key two, value two. If we click save here, our workflow is complete, and we can now review and publish. We're gonna manually add the test user that we just created, and then we can skip to turn on. When we turn on this workflow, we can now go back here and you can see subscription one, user tags one. But if we refresh the page, we can now see that a SMS record was created, an email was created, and we now have the key value, key two, value two. And if we go to our sent messages, we can see new feature announcement was sent to the push subscription assigned this external ID that matched the contact on HubSpot.